empathic engineer is not a term you'd normally hear in the office. Why is empathy so important for engineers? Empathy is the third part in emotional intelligence. It comes after self-awareness and self-regulation. Empathy is feeling as another feels. So really taking on and understanding how that other person is feeling. So a very quick way to explain sympathy versus empathy, I can have sympathy for a woman who's giving birth, but I can never have empathy for that because I can never experience that or really understand it at its core. Now in engineering, empathy is not something you normally would hear associated with an engineer. So when you're in your technical job, why should you care about empathy? Really truly understanding how the other person you're interacting with feels is a way for you to get a deeper relationship with that person and to get more done because that person can trust you more and you can really be on the same page. So you can be right in lockstep with that person and be able to move faster than you would have if you have to sit there and quibble about every little thing. The bar is so incredibly low when it comes to empathy from engineers that you really don't have to be great at it to really outshine your peers on average. Now, obviously there's going to be outliers and I want you to become one of those outliers. I want you to become a rock star that can understand and read people and empathize with them a lot better than your peers. When you do this, your team members will start to like you more because you literally will be paying better attention to them. So how do we start to learn how to empathize with others? A really great way is to actively listen to someone. So what do I mean by actively listen? Well, this is a big struggle for me when I first started this emotional intelligence journey because I was trying to listen to respond. I didn't really care about what the other person was gonna say. I really just wanted to wait my turn and throw my other thing back. That's why you'll notice in this channel, a lot of the times I'm saying, you know, when it comes to engineers, a lot of the times it's two monologues that happen to be in the same room, maybe pointed mostly towards each other. Neither of them has the intention to understand the other person. They're both just waiting for their turn to speak. This is why I'm saying the bar is incredibly low if you're in engineering to learn how to empathize better. So in active listening, what you're going to do is you're going to pay attention to understand the other person and what they're trying to tell you. So you're listening and trying to understand exactly what they're saying. A very good litmus test to see if you're empathizing well, especially if you're talking about something technical, I actually can find myself finishing other people's sentences when they're talking to me. So I'm understanding and listening to them so intently that I literally can finish their sentences. This is what I'm trying to get across here. And I think that's an incredibly good litmus test for you to see if you're empathizing with that person. Now, obviously, if you're talking about something emotional, finishing their sentence might not be appropriate. You probably wanna listen to them and really hear them out and give them the space to talk. But if we're talking about something technical, if you could finish their sentence, you don't have to, you don't have to jump down their throat and finish it, but I'm just saying that's a way for you to tell if you're actually actively listening to understand that other person. Being able to finish someone else's sentence is only one of many different examples you could use to try to show that you're having empathy for someone. So paying attention to yourself and paying attention to those around you through empathy is going to make you a more valued and efficient team member because you're gonna be paying attention to yourself so you're gonna catch yourself before you start doing things that are not good for the group or not good for yourself. And you're also going to help your team members be more productive. And this is going to make your team better. And it's going to help you when it comes for promotion and raise time because you're shown as a team player. And the more you can empathize with those around you, the better your relationships at work are going to be. And it's been shown time and time again that the people with the best professional networks are the ones that are the most productive and usually the ones at the top of the organization. I trust you've been paying attention to this emotional intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay, click that link below and schedule a call with me today.